What's up guys, Intricate Explorer here today and uh, we're at a little place called Cape Disappointment Lighthouse in uh, the Pacific Northwest. And uh, believe it or not, there's actually supposed to be a lighthouse right there in all the fog. So this place is living up to its name perfectly, but not all is lost. Check this out. So if you look at this piece of grass or wheat or whatever it is, very carefully, you can actually see that there's a spider web inside there. And on that spider web, there's a bunch of glistening dots of dew. And it's just blowing really peacefully in the wind. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna isolate this subject, probably just put it in the middle of the frame so I have a little bit of space to work with. Then I'm gonna underexpose it a little bit. And that's mainly because I wanna get that spider web that's really hard to see with the naked eye right now. So I'm gonna try and pull every bit of darkness that I possibly can out of those glistening webs. And then when I go to edit it, I'm actually gonna pull out those with a luminosity mask to make sure that you can actually see the spider web when in this shot, you can't see it too well. Let's go ahead and check this shot out. So this place is basically based on an old military base and the reason it's called Cape Disappointment is because this cape right here is right next to the Columbia River, which is one of the most dangerous rivers in the world to traverse. So it's called Cape Disappointment because so many ships have tried it, failed or showed up and realized they don't want to attempt it and have to take another route to get around. So it's not just because of the fog, it's because of an old, old, old passageway. So the good thing is there's actually one more lighthouse in this park. It's called uh, the North Head Lighthouse. So we're gonna go check out that lighthouse, see if we can get a shot of that one, because you can actually walk straight up to that one. This one, you, you, that's the closest you could get was that viewpoint for some reason because the US Coast Guard bought it. It is a whole thing. But we're gonna go to this other lighthouse. So let's do it. For a second I thought those things were the lighthouse. Those are actually just the keeper's quarters for the lighthouse. So that's where they stay. I was about to say, if there's a fucking construction sign around the lighthouse, I am gonna lose my goddamn shit. and do a quick walk around of the entire lighthouse and uh, see if there's any kind of compositions I want to get. I think I already know the one I want to get, but um, I'm just making sure because there's so many different angles to this thing and it's honestly, we're working with any kind of lighting conditions we want because the fog is here so we don't have to re rely on light hitting it in certain areas. Just the whole thing's lit up, which is complete creative freedom. All right, so we got a really fun shot right here of this crow is way in the distance out there. It is perfectly framed between these trees. Nice, perfect center subject. So we actually got this foreground that's in focus right now, but what I'm gonna do when I take the shot is I'm actually gonna focus it on the crow out there. So this front area is gonna be a little bit blurred. Then we're just gonna have these crooked, spiral, creepy looking trees surrounding the bird with a nice little you know, yellow and green tint down here to help give a little bit of a uh, color information to the viewer. Really easy light situation. We don't have to really worry about any source of light. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for the burn to turn sideways though, so that you can see its beak. Because even though I'm gonna center it, it could be a little hard to differentiate what it is, but once I get that beak on the side, people are gonna know exactly what that is. So check this shot out. 
So I think that's honestly what I'm always trying to do with those smaller subjects is just look for a way to frame them if possible because framing just makes it so much easier to capture those really basic subjects. Like everyone can get a photo of a bird, but if you frame it right, have a nice foreground, color, lighting perfect, it totally looks like something different. So what I'm thinking is right up these stairs here where Haley's actually standing is where I think I'm gonna get the overview shot because I feel like I could isolate it a lot better. From right here, we kind of have this noise of this fence and you don't get as much depth of like the height of this entire thing. But if we go up here, check this out. All right, so I'm fairly certain this is the composition I'm gonna work with for this lighthouse. Um, once these people move out of the frame, I'm gonna go ahead and stand down there somewhere. If you notice, I got a red jacket on so I could really stand out against all this meh colors happening around there. I'm gonna experiment with standing there, there, maybe somewhere here so I could outline myself against the white, or maybe even here where I could outline myself against this patio down here. Um, stand there, probably gonna be a square crop. Um, this will be a really good Instagram-esque shot. Yeah, my phone just died, so that's why I just disappeared out of this frame, but here's the shot, check this out. So, fun fact about that lighthouse, that is, that lighthouse and the lighthouse we couldn't see earlier are the only two lighthouses on the entire west coast that are within two miles of each other. It's because this coast is so dangerous that they need one on both sides to be able to get full visibility here. Jesus. Stop! <laughs> He's hey, literally driving hurry, away. Go, ahead, hurry. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> it's our last photo shoot of the week, guys, so Haley's like ready to go eat. <laughs> and shower. They have showers here, too. Ooh, look at that bridge. No. no. <laughs> Happy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Happy and healthy. <laughs> Yummy! Overall, guys, I think that was a banger at shoot today. I mean, we didn't get either of the two iconic shots, the one with the wave in the lighthouse, and then there's also Dead Man's Clove, which was closed, closed today, but I think we came away with some like really cool stuff and some more macro stuff. So I wouldn't say this place was a disappointment at all. It was actually really fun. So solid shoot today. Come here, even if the conditions are bad, because there's just so much this park has to offer. I'm here.